Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Nav back again with another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be going on Reddit. I chose a subcategory called No Stupid Questions. I'm gonna be the judge of this. I'm gonna see if these stu questions are stupid, valid, whatever the fuck the case is. But we're gonna go over it together. It's gonna be fun. First question we got here is by uh, is by Ultra Chad. He asks, does anybody else's parents blame sickness on the most irrelevant things ever? Chad here has just knocked the ball out the park because this cannot be more fucking accurate. Growing up, I thought it was just my parents who did this, but they'll just make the most random shit up, like facts that are not even like relevant or true. For instance, I could tell my mom that I'm just I'm, I'm getting a cold and she will be like, it's because you're not wearing a sweater inside the house. What the fuck is wrong with you, huh? You're not wearing sweater, you're not wearing sweatpants. Since when do I have to bundle up inside my house? It's your house, you're supposed to undress. You're not supposed to redress when you go inside. They'll try to make sense of it, but no matter what they do, it just sounds pure stupid and they'll never back out of it. They'll just keep going until they, you know, be like, okay, you know what, get it out of my face. I'm done talking about this. But yeah, Chad, great question. Next question we got by uh, not a throwaway 66151. It's a very long username. Has Reddit been running out of usernames? This guy had to create the most difficult one. Regardless, he asks a pretty good question, to be honest. He asks, do Chinese dogs have trouble communicating with, say, American dogs? Now, this can go, this can go a lot of ways because although it's not like a question that you're just like, that you just think about randomly every day is like, oh wait, dude, the fucking like Nigerian dogs, like, like communicate the same way like German dogs do. This person was very stoned when he thought of this question, but you know, some of the greatest questions come when you're stoned. And I'm not I'm not blaming him, honestly. This is a very valid question because like dogs don't really have like a language, they all bark the same. Like I don't, like what, does a Chinese dog bark differently than a fucking Nigerian dog? Like, I don't know. Well, I, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed analyzing the shit out of this question later, Jesus. Now I can't stop thinking about it. Do Chinese dogs need visas? See, th th it's just spiraling into something that I just don't want to get into right now. We'll save that one for another time, okay? Next question we got here is by uh, aerobic underscore respiration. This person asks, why do I violently sneeze immediately after forcing out a particularly difficult shit? How do you, I don't even know how to relate to this because I don't think I've ever sneezed after taking a difficult shit. How does that happen? Is it like, <laughs> for this person to be asking this question, I would assume that this has happened multiple times because it can't be like a one-off thing. Otherwise, this person would just be like, oh, I, I just sneezed after taking a shit. Like it's normal, whatever, like this shit happens. But the fact that this person is asking this on Reddit tells me that this is a frequent occurrence. So I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this guy's nostrils if the shit particles are just going through and just making him want to sneeze i don't know what the fuck's going on but aerobic underscore respiration go see a doctor man eat grass mokey fast asks is australia a country is australia a country moving on next question we got by marchessa of trevelyan Sounds like it's coming straight out of fucking Game of Thrones. This person asks, every bag of microwave popcorn I've had had said not to use the popcorn button on the microwave. The manual for my microwave says that the popcorn button should not be used for popcorn. Why the fuck is it there then? Listen, Marchessa of Trivillean, I don't know why the fuck you're worried about popcorn when you should be worried about Jon Snow defending himself from the White Walkers, okay? Get your fucking priorities straight here, woman. Or man, I don't, I don't know what gender this is. I'm sorry, it's 2019. I can't be assuming genders here. But getting back to the point, still got a little sidetrack there. Um, very good question. Because honestly, I've thought about this myself, but never really like, like thought it out loud. Fuck the popcorn button on your microwave. That shit's garbage. I swear to God, every time I press on that shit, I have at least half the bag of unpopped popcorns or corns or what do you call those things that haven't popped yet? You, you get what I'm trying to say, <laughs> you know? So... 
Good question. I, I have no idea what the fuck it's there. Next question we got by Gummy Bears UOAC. This person asked, would a diabetic's blood sugar raise if you put sugar up their butt? I'd like to not assume that this person is a diabetic because I, I, I don't know what he was like expecting with this question. Like, I just, I just gotta know, like, like, like I'm, I'm about to do it. Like, like, I just need like three verifications, like three people to verify that it's like, all right, you know, like, like, you know, like it's not a good thing to do because like, I don't want to, I don't want to like raise it. What the fuck is this person thinking of? Was he taking a shit one day and he's like, what happened if I put a fucking Twizzler up my ass? Will I, will I, will I raise like my blood sugar? Like, Jesus, dude, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Like, I wish I could, I wish I could give you an answer to this, but I feel like some questions are just meant to be unanswered. Sorry, man. That was just a dumb question. I think I've had enough of reading these uh, Reddit questions. If you enjoyed the video, as always, you know, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment down below what you thought about it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I wish I had a sponsor for the end of this video, but your boy, uh, your boy's broke. So like, you know, I got no sponsor. Seeky, hook me up. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. And uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.